on Hell's Kitchen. You're going to be working with leftovers. The chefs were challenged to create a masterpiece out of refrigerator remnants. So many times I've looked at my fridge, I'm like, well, got to make something work tonight. For a chance to be featured in Better Homes and Gardens magazine. The winner of today's challenge will have their dish seen by 40 million Americans. I totally see myself on one of the pages, like. Rochelle's unsightly duck. I would hope for a little more elegance. Just go to the magazine. I just don't know how to play stuff. And Jason's unappealing seafood mashup. It feels a little bit like everything's swimming. It feels like leftovers. We're disappointing, but Scott's elegant duck breast with lentils. Really delicious. It has cohesiveness to it that I find very appealing. And Melanie's macadamia crusted filet mignon. Very pretty. Looks like jewelry on the plates. After careful analysis, it was Scott's. Well done. Who narrowly won the challenge and the coveted magazine feature. Are you kidding me? At dinner service, the chef's cook for Marvel Comics legend Stan Lee. It's every little kid's dream. Holy smoke, I'm in the kitchen. Ah While Melanie struggled on appetizers early. Come on, Melanie, out of control. No wonder they call it Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> it was Joy's disastrous performance on fish. Welcome with the halibut. I need the garnish before the halibut. Oh, he's back shouting again. Then had Chef Ramsay steaming. You want to pick an argument? I'm ready. If you're in the mood, don't take it out on my food. And in one of the most shocking moments in Hell's Kitchen history. I'm done. You're done. I'm done with this shit. Joy, no. Joy. One of the favorites to win the competition, unbelievably threw in the towel. I'm done. Hey, I know you're done. It shows in your cooking. Okay, fine. Get out. Leaving behind her chance of becoming head chef of Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill at Caesar's Palace. And in the glow of a strong dinner service, Chef Ramsay decided not to send anyone else home. None of you will be leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. He did, however, leave them with a sobering message. After our next dinner service, we are cutting the field in half. Oh, God. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Great job. Celebrate. Thank you. you deserve it. Well, Thank you. Well sure. done. Good job, guys. Nice job, guys. It's certainly not who I thought would be here from when we started. And I did not anticipate Joy just freaking out and leaving. I thought she was going to be uh, my strongest competition. So it's anyone's game right now. Well, good job, guys. Look at it. Look, at, look around. It's all that's left. Scott, I'm really proud of you. Oh, thanks. I'm not gonna lie, I had a slightly warped perception of you because of just how many times you've gone up. I got like caught in that rut of like going up. I became like the easy choice for right. everybody, you know, because, because everybody wants that plan B, like, yeah. oh, he's always up, why not put him yeah, up again? Yeah, exactly. Chef Ramsay has beaten my ass every single day that I've been here. For me to still be here means I've been doing something right. It went from the Fantastic Five to the Fantastic Four. Jason, Melanie, Scott, Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> After a pleasant, joyous night in the dorms. God, I can't believe there's only four of us. That's really weird. Chef Ramsay has planned a morning these four chefs will surely remember. Secret Service. Like, oh, uh, what is going on? <laughs> uh, all of you, good morning. Good morning, morning, chef. Chef. Good morning, Chef. Right. As I'm sure you've noticed, there are some extra security here. Because Hell's Kitchen is honored for the first time ever to be hosting some very important dignitaries. All of you, uh, come with me, please. Let's go. OK, we're about to see a celebrity or someone really important, because 
I haven't seen bodyguards like this in a while. Uh, remember, be polite and do not embarrass me, OK? Yes, Chef. <laughs> yeah, here they are, guys. <laughs> Jason, stand up straight, please. I'm nervous. Representing the state of California, I'd like to introduce <laughs> Rochelle's fiance, Andy. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. And her mother and father, Stephanie and Ross. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I tried my thumb off yesterday. Let's see who's in the next car. Melanie's boyfriend, Patrick. <laughs> and her mother, Kate. Wow. <laughs> Jason, there's your girlfriend, Susan. <laughs> and your mother, Barbara. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, Mom. Oh, so happy. I was just like, yeah! Oh, I miss you so much. Scott, we have not forgotten about you, young man. I wake up with a picture of my wife and kids right next to the bed. That's the last thing I think about at night and the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. And in our final car, and here we have Gigi. <laughs> your wife, Tiffany, and your son, Gavin. Oh. Welcome. Hey, I love you. <laughs> oh. oh, I miss you. I miss you. Daddy's here. Let's take some special time together as a family. I'd like to welcome you inside the Hell's Kitchen. Give me my boy. <laughs> you know, I had the opportunity to have him all in my arms. It was really special. Tell me what you made. Since Daddy's been gone, all I've been doing is cooking, cooking, cooking. These are the three most important people in my life. You know, it's amazing to have them here. <laughs> I miss you so much. I can't wait to see what home feels like again. <laughs> Has it been hard? Oh, yeah, it's been, it's, it's crazy here. Like, I've had to cook a lot of things that I've never cooked before, ever. But I think I've impressed Chef in that area. Hi, you guys. Compliments of the chef. Nice piece of fresh fish with seasoned vegetables. Rochelle, what is this? It almost tastes like a pumpkin that we cut yesterday. So we could have a little thumb in there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could. <laughs> what I'm doing right now, millions of people in the world would pay anything to be where I am right now. I'm glad you did it. Yeah. It was really cool just being able to catch up on like anything and everything in the quick amount of time we have together. What are you eating? I'm just happy that you guys are here and that I get to see you really soon. It's just so nice. I just want to stare at them. <laughs> uh, chefs, I'd like to say goodbye to your loved ones because we got some work to do. <laughs> now, Chef Ramsay, like, don't make them leave. You're so mean. <laughs> so mean. I love you, <laughs> uh, I'll see you real soon, OK? Having to say goodbye to my kids is probably the hardest. I'll see you real Daddy, soon. Please. Excellent. Uh, chefs, please line up. <laughs> oh. Now, it's time to get back to business. Because your next challenge is the one that always separates the cooks from the chefs. It's time for Taste It, Now Make It. Oh, all right. And the dish you'll be working with, Chef Andy, please, is... Wait a second. I've already served it to you. It was the dish you ate with your families. Oh, shit. Uh, Melanie, what's wrong? I didn't eat any. Did everybody else eat? Yes. A little bit. I, I yes, had sir. a taste. Man, I was just focused on my family. I didn't really taste it at all. Damn. Do you know what? I'll put another sample of the dish so you can sample as you cook. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. OK? You've all got. 40 minutes to recreate oh my God. the dish. The chef who comes closest to recreating that dish will win the challenge. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. Yeah. Your time starts 
Now, off you go. For the Taste It, Now Make It challenge. Good luck. This one, you're gonna need it. The chefs will have just 40 minutes to recreate Chef Ramsay's complex dish, relying on only one sample plate and their palates. The clock is ticking. It's tough, trying to match up whatever's on that plate. Oh no, dude. I was in between sea bass and escalar, and I'm thinking it was meteor like escalar, so I decided escalar. What fish did you grab? Well, I'm debating right now. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I got the right fish. Just because sole wrapped in prosciutto does have a distinct taste. All of the chefs have chosen to wrap their fish in prosciutto. But while Jason, Melanie, and Rochelle have decided to go with soul, Scott has chosen the more exotic Escalar. 30 minutes to go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. And with their proteins cooking, the chefs now shift their attention to identifying the garnish in Chef Ramsay's dish. I'm thinking butternut squash was the key vegetable component. On the plate, it was definitely a heavier squash. So I'm hoping I got that right. I think I taste pumpkin. And that's something that the other people don't have. So I mean, I could definitely win this. While Melanie has chosen pumpkin, oh, yeah. everyone else believes that it's butternut squash. 15 minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I'm going to remove this one and use it real quick. Uh, this one. As I'm getting down to, like, what could this puree be? I'm, like, tasting and tasting it. It's very mild, but light. And I'm just like, parsley. We need to do a nice, light parsley puree. Rochelle has chosen parsley for her puree. Let's see what that tastes like. But Jason is still experimenting. I was thinking, like, maybe they just do, like, a lettuce puree. Ugh, no, that's not it. It's got to be the watercress, then. Both Scott and Jason have decided on watercress for their puree. Last minute, guys. Here we go. And Melanie has chosen arugula. 30 seconds to go. Uh, come on, guys. Finishing touches. Oh, my god, My fish is, like, falling apart. Five, four, uh, around. three, two, one, and serve, guys. OK, uh, Rochelle, yeah. tell me about your dish. OK, chef. Um, I felt like you used butternut squash. And then with the fish, I actually chose sole. So inside here, what's in there? Parsley and olive oil, salt and pepper. Wow. OK, wow. Wait, what does that mean? Hmm. What does that mean? Uh, Melanie, please, pass me your dish. Yes, yeah, chef. Sure. <clears throat> Thank you. Talk to me about it. So I chose the sole as well. And then I did the arugula pesto with walnuts, mm -hmm. roasted the pumpkin with dill. Interesting. <laughs> That's not pumpkin. No way. Scott, please. Yes, chef. Describe your dish, please. I chose escalar. And then the squash, I chose butternut squash. The puree on the plate, I used watercress. Nice tasting dish. You know, chef liked the dish, so I'm hoping I got it right. And we'll see. Jason, please. Thank you. I chose uh, the sole. Uh, Bernard squash. Is that just watercress puree there? Yeah. Interesting. OK, let's get one thing straight. The most important element of the dish is the protein. Rochelle, Melanie and Jason, you had sole. And Scott, you had escala. And the right fish is... Sole. <gasps> Sorry, Scott, you're now... Eliminated. Let's move on to veg. Jason and Rochelle had butternut squash. And Melanie, you had pumpkin. And the correct ingredient is... Butternut squash. Damn. Melanie, you're out. So it's now between Rochelle and Jason. And it all comes down to the puree. One of you had parsley, Rochelle. And one of you had watercress. Jason. And the right answer is. Congratulations. Jason. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Watercress puree, it was. Thank you, Chef. Good job. Rochelle, not bad. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Watercress, dang it. Well done. Nailed it. Right now I'm kind of on a roll. Jason. You are going on the most amazing, fabulous VIP restaurant tour. Rock this challenge out, so... Yeah, this is my redemption from the blind taste test. Something else you need to know. Sous Chef Andy will be accompanying you. There's a few more surprises as you eat your way around this city. 
your first surprise is actually waiting for you upstairs in the door. So head on up. Thank you, Chef. Well yeah, done. Man. Good job. Thank you, man. Scott, Melanie, and Rochelle, whilst Jason is eating out at some of the finest restaurants in Los Angeles, it's moving day in Hell's Kitchen. Okay. There's a moving truck. I want all the furniture out of the rooms, so all the beds turned upside down, taken out. After that, prep and set up to head up tonight's busy service. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Head up to the dorm. I love moving day. Not. That's why I don't move. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! All clad, stainless steel cookware. It is beautiful, and I cannot wait to use it. What you get, you bastard? Nice job, bro. Yeah. Nice job, man. I am ready to get the fuck out there. I'm ready to go change, and I'm hungry. I'm ready to get some food. Riding high from his win, Jason heads out with sous chef Andy to start his VIP restaurant tour. Here we are, Big and Olive. Big and Olive, beautiful place. I love trying new places out. Hi. Welcome to Fagan Olive Melrose Place. My name is Mitchell. Nice to meet you. Jason. It's just inspiring seeing what's new, what people are doing. It's exciting to see what I'm in for. We have our rosemary garlic lamb chop, smoked in the dining room and served as such. Wow. Enjoy. How is it? So soft and succulent. I'm very happy right now. So who do you think is your biggest competition at this point? I'm not real worried about the three that are left besides me. I mean, Melanie seems to be getting stupider day by day. As long as you stay consistent, you'll be fine. While Jason does a little trash talking of the competition, back in Hell's Kitchen, Scott. I'll jump up there. OK. I just I can't use my hand. <laughs> is being taken advantage of by the competition. Not only are you strong, but you're organized. I know. If I ever move, I'm calling you. I had a strategy going on. We have Scott as a guy to do this shit for us. Me and Rochelle don't really put up much um, effort. It was like, perfect. I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> That's all right. Times like these, women aren't much of a help. So, lunch? OK. <laughs> Yeah, the girls were loving me today, that's for sure. I took care of a lot of lifting today, oh. and uh, they didn't have to do much. <sighs> that sucks. I'm tired. <clears throat> I kind of want to try some of these chicken taquitos. <clears throat> ah. While Scott continues to be a one-man moving company, <sighs> Chef Andy is ready to surprise Jason with another culinary delight. This is one of my favorite places, OK? Awesome. Looks wonderful. And their next stop has something extra special on the menu. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> awesome to see you again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah come here, Ma. Having my family here, you know, it means a lot to me. It truly does. See you back in the kitchen. Right, thank Bye, you so guys. much. Just being able to like, sit down and talk with them, that's what's going to get me through and get to the next level. Good afternoon. Wow. How's it going? Excellent, Chef. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Michael. Jason, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. We're going to do a few portions for you, if that's all right. It looks wonderful, Chef. Thank, Thank you, guys. you so Enjoy. much. Thank you. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. I've missed you, too. <laughs> it's been mentally so frustrating here. It's really difficult at times. That's part of the game, I guess. Yeah. Have you yelled at people? Um. Go back to the grocery store, motherfucker! It's not a fire yet, you dumb little ah! <laughs> Shock. You got to go back to work? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I do a full dinner service, so. We're going to go to the pool. Good. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. It was a wonderful day, and I'll never forget this. Bye-bye. Have a good Love day. Love you. <laughs> As Jason races back to Hell's Kitchen, Hi. the remaining chefs have finished prepping for tonight's dinner service. It was too good of a day. I need to put that aside and just focus. Line up, guys. Line up. OK, tonight's service will determine if you make it into the final. Each of you will take a turn running the pass. If there was ever a time to separate yourself from your competitors, tonight is the night. And after tonight's service, two of you will be gone. So. Give it all you've got. Get on your stations. Let's go. That's exciting slash nerve-wracking. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Just pressure. 
It's on. OK, JP, open house kitchen, please. Thank you. Go, guys. Yes, yeah. chef. Taste everything, please, yes? yes everything. Chef. No matter what, I love you all. I'm gonna yell at you, but it'll be okay. <laughs> As always, the chefs will have to perform up to Chef Ramsay's standards on the line. Let's do this shit. Woo -woo. Yeah, man. But tonight, each will have a turn running the pass and must show they have the leadership and quality control skills necessary to be a head chef. Here we go. On order. Here we go. Good luck, guys. Yes? Thank you, Chef. Yes. Four cup at the table, one. Two risotto, two cappellini. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes chef. So, you got it? I got two cappellinis gonna start for you, okay? Okay. At this point in time, everyone knows how to cook. Dropping pasta right now, and now it's time to stand out and be on top. Okay, first two, we're right, right, right now, Chef. Right now. Let's go. Good, perfect. Now that appetizers are making their way out to the diners. Right, gentlemen. Ah, thank you. Of course. All right, James, take over. Rochelle, come over, let's go. Us. Chef Ramsay is ready to hand control over to the chefs. OK, when you get the ticket, read the ticket first before you announce it. Beginning with Rochelle. Let's go. Running the pass. No, I've never done it before. I want to hear you now. And it just makes me so nervous. OK, guys, one risotto, one scallops, one cappellini, one salad. I need that risotto, chef, as soon as you can. And I need those scallops, Jason, with the scallop salad and the cipollini, you guys. No idea what you just told me, Rochelle. It was too fast. But I could not understand what she was saying. She was just like, like, okay, come on, like, one minute. And it's like, what? I need those scallops, I need that risotto, I need a scallop salad. Salad, come on. You have to control them. James, how long are those salads? My hand, chef. Salads. Come on, Rochelle. Um, <laughs> realistically, these aren't very pretty. Get them over to the hot plate, tell him. Get him over to the hot plate. You don't run to him. You can't leave oh, here. I'm sorry. You're driving the ship. <laughs> Chef James, would you mind coming over? Yeah, hurry up, James, so sorry. please. <laughs> Rochelle, come over here a minute. You're running Hell's Kitchen right now. Yes, okay, sir. and every two minutes she's giggling. I'm sorry. Okay, so no one's going to take you seriously. Okay. okay. I'm so nervous. I'm I so know, sorry. no, but you're running a brigade now. Yes, okay, sir. so get a grip and stop giggling. I'm sorry, right. Chef. Serious now. Oh. Let's go. I normally laugh when I'm a little bit nervous or when I'm like, oh gosh, I shall pull it together. Like, it's just my way of like bouncing back. Go on, you're in charge. Let's go. How long about that? One risotto, cappellini, and scallops, guys. It's a minute and a half. God, I want to see your garnish up here in one minute. You got it, coming up. Right, that's better. Look at me. You're running them now, and they're not running you. After a nervous start on the pass, Rochelle has taken control. Out behind. You said my dinner on the right. And appetizers are flying out to the dining room. That's, that's pretty good. good. Yeah. Good. It's like buttery. Yeah. But it's time for her to be tested again. Then those four risotto working as well, yes? Yes, Chef. As Chef Ramsay has enlisted sous chef James to test Rochelle's quality control. One minute. By preparing a risotto with shrimp instead of lobster. Risotto. Taste everything, let's go. Shrimp? Chef, I think there's a shrimp in here. What? Is that shrimp? No. Well spotted. Tell him, let's go. I need one more risotto, Chef, as soon as possible. Coming now. This is new for me. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. Service, please. Go, please, thank you. I did, you know, take a little bit of time to overcome. But, I mean, once I did, I felt like I did well. OK, Rochelle, back okay. on appetizers. Melanie. Yes, Chef. On the hot plate. Come on, Melanie, let's go. You get your ticket in, walk over, call it out, read the ticket through your mind first, OK? OK. While Melanie has just taken the reins of Hell's Kitchen. Melanie, order in. Thank you. Chef Ramsay wastes no time testing her attention to detail, starting with the very first ticket. You guys, listen up. We just got a six stop in right now. I need two risotto, two cappellini, one scallop, one Caesar. Special. That's not on the menu, so I was curious. I'm like, what is that? What's the problem? I need to ask about the Caesar. OK, it's not even on the menu. Yeah. So why did you call it out? Because I don't know if we're able to run a special or... So we're not running a special. OK. Yeah, everything on the menu is special. OK. So you read the ticket first. I don't know if Melanie can command enough respect to run a kitchen. We don't have a Caesar on the menu. Oh, we don't? No Caesar. I definitely think that she could use a few more years of experience. All right, guys, that's six stop. I have two risotto working and two cappellini, yeah? And a scallop and a regular butter lettuce salad. Jason, 
nobody says anything. It's like a ghost town. Hello, like, does anybody hear me? Scallops, two capellini. No one replies. When they don't answer you, that means they haven't heard, they don't give a fuck. Can I get an answer, guys? I feel like I'm talking to no one. Whatever. Fuck you guys. Melanie, you've got to control them. And they're controlling you, you're not controlling I them. Know, chef. It's very important tonight to emerge as a leader, and I want to prove to Chef Ramsay, like, oh yeah, I fucking have a voice. Watch me. How long? Two capellini, two scallops. How long? Yeah, the capellini, give me 30 seconds. Scallops? 30 seconds. Garnish, are you able to come in 30 yep. seconds? Yep. Yeah, walk right now, Mel. Service, please. With Melanie seemingly in control of the kitchen. Happy with that, Melanie? Yes, Chef, I tasted everything. Table 73. Dishes are once again making their way to the dining room. Back on the station, let's go. Scott, let's go. Right, you in control. Yes, sir. Sure. Kitchen. I love working the stations and cooking, but I feel I'm definitely a good orchestrator overall. So I just want to go up there and, you know, just kind of do what I know how to do. All right, listen up. Entrees, one halibut, two salmon, one chicken. Order in. Two halibut, one salmon, one chicken. Two halibut, one salmon. One halibut, two salmon, one chicken. You got it, boss. Thank you. Excellent. Finally, the voice. Let's go, let's go. It's definitely not easy to run the pass. The biggest thing is, you know, just to make sure that everybody is coordinated and working together. Chef is the one that makes it look easy, you know? Behind, hop behind. Halibut. Thank you. How are we coming out to Wellington? Hey, here, Chef. Good. Thank you. Nice service, please. Under Scott's strong leadership, the kitchen is turning out entrees at a rapid pace. Salmon? Where's my salmon? Salmon, give me that. Good. Service, please. But now, his quality control will be put to the test, as sous chef James has hidden a duck breast amongst the chicken order. Chef James, looking for chicken? Right here, please. Yeah, he's there, James. Thank you. Let's go. Good. Chef, Chef James. Yeah. James, here, please. What's wrong? Oh, I got pink chicken and I got duck breast pink here, chicken. Chef. Quick, James. Pink chicken and duck breast. Uh, well spotted. Let's please. go. Urgently, one more chicken. Thank you. After passing his quality control test. Chef James, please. What's in my sauce? Lamb sauce, Chef. Let's yeah. Let's fix that, please. Scott continues to scrutinize very carefully every dish that comes to the pass. Just a hit of salt on this, please. More Good. salt. Well, yes, yeah, please. Good. Scott was being a little too picky. Chef, can you taste this for me? I think there's a, there's a hell of a lot of garlic in there, isn't there, Chef? There's a ridiculous amount of garlic in there, yeah. well spotted. He was sending too many things back that didn't really need to get sent back, like garnishes. I'm like, really? Hey, guys, I need, the, I need a refire on this halibut sauce. This is full of garlic. Refire it as soon as possible. Get that rolling. While Scott's pickiness may be annoying his teammates. I need a refire on a lobster tail, please. This is mush. Coming up. Thank you. Well spotted. Yeah, mush. The customers are experiencing near perfection in the dining room. I like it. Mm. Oh, good. Jason, on the hot plate. All right. After an impressive run by Scott, it's now time for Jason to take his turn at the pass. So are we still at like four minutes and the 272 and two Wellington? Three and a half minutes. Yeah, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes, I can walk with Three and a half minutes, all right. I try to like liven things up when I know like people get down. The people that work for you aren't gonna like put up good dishes if they don't like who they're working for. Melody, how long am I taking you think? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I wanna, I wanna bring it to you cook, Jason. No, no, yeah, I would like it cooked too, so rock and roll. Scott, good work on the garnish, keeping it fast, keeping it up to pace. Jason's a goofball, man, and you know, I was a little bit surprised, you know, I thought he would have kept it a little more serious. Melanie, you're doing very well. I'm glad to see this good work coming out of you. Jason has to be able to command that respect when respect is needed during service. I think we're doing pretty good, guys. I, I'm going to make out the back of all your hands. <laughs> No, be serious. All right. Let's go. With Jason taking a more jovial attitude toward leadership. Come on, guys. Energy, please. No one's counting back. No one's calling back. It's just flat. All right, what's going on right now? The chefs seem to be taking a little more laid back attitude towards cooking. To Wellington. How long? I need two and a half minutes. Oh, come on, guys. This is fucking embarrassing. There's nothing coming out. Jason, come here, you. No flustering. No bullshit. You call out orders like they're their best friends. You're not down the pub, you're not at a bar. You're running them. Do you understand? Yeah. And so this is an important part. But they've got to take you serious. Off you go. 
I take what I do very seriously in the kitchen. Now I need to step it up and prove what I can do. Is Wellington working? Walking with Wellington Garnish right now. Now that Jason has taken a more serious approach. New Wellington walking. Scott, how you doing? Walking with Salmon Garnish, chef. Walking on salmon. Thank you. Entrees are making their way out of the kitchen. Chicken on the Jew walking right now. All right. Chicken up. But his quality control is about to be tested as sous chef James delivers crusted salmon instead of halibut. Thank you. Let's go. Two halibut on. This, isn't that salmon? Well spotted. Yes, it was. Come on, guys. Halibut. After catching the planned sabotage. Let's go. Go. Go, go, go. Jason sends out the evening's final entrees. Entrees, yay! Mm. Everything off, please, James. Wow. You now fully all understand what it's like running Hell's Kitchen, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. I need some time to figure out who belongs in the Hell's Kitchen final. But I want your perspective about which one of your fellow chefs you feel does not belong in the final. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Off you go. I don't think anyone's going to say my name, but if they do, I don't give a shit. Anyone can say what they want. I feel good about myself. This is going to suck. Who's your decision? Scott. I think he's done a great job lately. You know, I'm going to say that. But like, he wasn't good for the whole first half. I know. Scott's really been taking the lead, being a lot louder like he should be, and putting out good food. So I mean, yeah, it's the right time to shine, but is it good enough? So, so torn. I think Jason could have been a little more serious tonight. I know. It's hard, because like Jason also has kind of like a goofball personality like me. But I mean, I've not seen, you know, that strong leadership quality is like with that level of integrity that, you know, I'd be looking for. I have to go pee. Me too. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm not real confident in Melanie. I'm not either. Too young. Yeah, like not just not serious enough, maybe? Yeah. Or there's something lacking. And I think, you know, I think Rochelle's a great fucking person, but like even like when shit got serious tonight, she like burst out in laughter. I think we got this. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Tonight, I lose two talented chefs that I respect. Melanie, who do you think should not be in the final? I'm going to say Scott. For the first half of this whole competition, he disappeared a lot during service. He didn't communicate back. I understand now he's doing a good job, but isn't that too far in the competition to show what you have when there's people that have been shining the whole time? Rochelle, who do you think should not be in the final? I might just have to go with Jason. If you're going to be in a position as a head chef, you know, where you're under that stress, like, are you going to snap? Are you going to fall back? Are you going to be able to take that leadership and run with it? He's the one that I'm a little bit hesitant on. Scott, I'd have to go with Melanie, chef. She's had simple hiccups and stuff since I've been working with her, you know, here and there. Just kind of the consistency level that, that I get concerned about. Jason. Rochelle, when she gets nervous, the anxiety kicks in and starts talking really fast, and it's hard to understand. And she seems to get like, a little too frantic, and it's just not a healthy thing in the kitchen. Thank you for your comments. But this is a tough one for me, let me tell you. The first person leaving house kitchen is Rochelle. Come here, you. <laughs> let me tell you oh something. My, I didn't mean to giggle. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You make me giggle. Here's the thing. Never in the history of this competition have I seen someone that has been so energetic. And that energy can go far. Whatever you decide to do in this industry, you're going to have a very bright future, let me tell you. you Thank you it. so much. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, without giggling, 
keep a straight face and give me your jacket. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I knew you could do it. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Best you. of luck, you guys. Good luck, it's been yourself. A it's been a pleasure to work with you. So Take care. One of my biggest fears coming in here was the fact that I didn't have the experiences everybody else. You cook like you've been working in a kitchen for five years. Oh, thank you, chef. <laughs> what is so funny? I don't know. <laughs> I think I laugh a little bit when I'm nervous. <laughs> there were definitely times where thoughts of doubt popped in my head. Is it hard to balance a family and work? It's tough. You know, you got to make a lot of sacrifices in the beginning. Is that your best? No, chef. But I was able to push and push through it. Even being a catering chef, I stood my ground. Gabriel, you have two chickens following that. Make sure those are in right now. The winner, Rochelle. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! I've learned so much, and it's been such an amazing journey. I've had some good services, but nothing quite as good as tonight. You are an actual, let me tell you. Thank you so much. Okay. Chef Ramsey, thank you so much for this opportunity. And I feel like your next restaurant, I might be applying. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't laugh as much. Melanie, Scott, Jason, as I look at the three of you, I can see any one of you in the final. But there can only be two. The first person going into the Hell's Kitchen final is... Scott, congratulations. Congratulations, man. You are the biggest comeback chef in the history of this competition, let me tell you. And tonight, you proved that on running the hot plate. You did a great job. Thank you so much, chef. Melanie and Jason. The chef joining Scott. In the final is... Jason. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Good job, guys. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Melanie, come here. Good Let job. me tell you something. Please, don't take that off. OK. Hang on to that, and here's why. There is no doubt in my mind that you were born to cook, let me tell you that. You have that level of tenacious ability to constantly keep going forward. And you were born, born to cook. Thank you. OK, it's in your blood. Well done, my darling. Thank you. Come here. Good job. Good job. Well done. Thanks, guys. Good job. Thanks, guys. I came into this competition with a lot of confidence. I'm confident enough to hop from every station. I need five minutes, five minutes. Melanie! Yes, Chef! Great sear and great temperatures on the fillet. Thank you, Chef! I was one of the youngest ones here. <laughs> and sometimes I got thrown on my ass walking right now. Whoa! I pulled a bunch of rookie mistakes that I shouldn't fucking do. You're a better chef than that. I know. But I always gave 175 million percent of myself. Walking with my risotto, follow behind me with those tails, Jason. And I learned being a head chef is more than just putting out good food. Drive your team, Melanie. Let's go. Getting this far in this crazy ass competition, and I'm so much stronger, and I know what I'm capable of. Dude, this is awesome. Melanie, those New York strip are cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Melanie, Melanie. I can only grow from here. I can only get better as the years go on. So, I mean, yeah, I lost tonight, but you'll see me in a couple of years somewhere else. Scott and Jason, congratulations. Seriously, well done. Thank you very much, Chef. Both of you, enjoy this phenomenal moment, because your biggest test lies ahead of you. Yes, yes Chef. Congratulations, seriously. Thank you, Thank chef. you chef. Head upstairs. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Great Thank job. you. Thank you. Hey, brother, dude. <laughs> yeah, brother! Holy cats! Being resilient, not giving up, it's been my motto since day one. So yeah. I'm not about to go home now. Oh, oh man, man, dude! Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot oh. believe where I am right now. This is amazing! I've come a long oh, way. Yeah. I'm so ready for this. 
so ready for this. <sighs>